Good morning. Out and about on another safari in the Timbavati Game Reserve. And we've been informed about a pack of wild dogs. We are around the corner from the sighting. So I will uh, catch you now. Let's see if uh, we can have a nice sighting of these dogs. It's been a while. Extremely busy bodied animals, eh? Very restless. They'll lie down like that. And every now and then you'll see they get up and they move around. Look at that. It's like they've got ants in their pants, these guys. Unlike the other predators like lion, which is extremely aggressive on their kills, on a lion kill, all love is lost. There's extreme aggression, growling, snarling and biting towards each other. When these guys are on a kill, everybody wants to share and let everybody feed. So it's all that pack, dy pack dynamic that the, the healthier the pack, the more successful the pack. That's their kind of mindset. So that's why they regurgitate food for each other as well. Okay, so one of the helpers, let's say for instance, they're busy denning at that specific st uh, stage like April, May, typically this time of year. One or two of the members would remain at the den site as a babysitter or as a, a, a guard of, of that specific den site. If the pack goes out and hunt and they hunt successfully, some of them will bring the meat back and regurgitate it for the helpers and the little puppies to feed on it as well. Okay, and they are so keen on feeding each other that they'll actually regurgitate it four or five times the same piece of meat oh, yeah. between one another. That's how physiologically they're just keen to feed one another. Okay. Yeah, that belly is drooping quite a bit. See the teeth, mammary glands swelling up. Very, very close to dropping it. Yeah. Yeah. It's, look at all the blood on the side of the face. Very pregnant, eh? I think so. Which one, Mateo? This one. That one. Okay. Very heavy pregnant. All right. Yeah. So that's uh, Isaac thinking that's the pregnant alpha female right up ahead of us. I see quite a bit of blood stains around the head, but it could. I see. Yeah. You guys see the you guys see the mammary glands there, eh? Yeah, we can see the mammary glands. It's quite a pregnant female. And they'll be seeking out a den site. So you never know. Let's hope. Pups inside. Yeah, maybe 10 puppies <laughs> inside, eh? maybe even 15. They can have up to 18 yeah, puppies, wow. has been recorded before from one female, guys. But look at the stomachs, like so. But a lot of them inside. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that was lekker, like we say in our uh, local language over here. Buy a lekker. Uh, great wild dog sighting, all 32 counted 32 of them. They moved into Glacieri Game Reserve. Hopefully they come back to the Timbervati soon. We are going to find a spot to stop for a cup of coffee and celebrate our epic morning with the king. looking too happy up front that uh, our game driver is coming to an incredibly quick halt because of the rains. I can uh, feel these droplets smacking into my face at the moment so I'm gonna say goodbye for now. We are heading straight back. Cheers guys! While we were brewing our coffee, we were surprised by the same pack of wild dog we saw during the last two days. Another pack of about, same pack of about 32 individuals, and they have just killed an impala. And there's about four or five hyenas milling around every now and then. There's a little bit of a squabble between the two species, but that's the way to start the morning, bright and early.
at that. Terrible way to start the morning. You got that? Ah, it's awesome. It's lovely to start the morning in a, in a way like this, eh? Hey? This is a treat. It's a real treat. This is a Even real treat, Jack. Yeah. Oh, yeah, jeez. No, you can't get enough of this, eh? Hey? It's an absolute privilege. And just to see the populations of the dogs increasing. Oh, that's awesome. I mean, it's, so, it, it, it's no, actually notable over the last decade how their numbers grew. It's yeah. just... Oh, finishing the last bit of a impala and a pack of over 30, 30, 32. We'll definitely finish an impala within minutes. What a sight. There you can see the difference in the coat patterns. Look at the hyena at the very back. A spotted hyena, you can see the smaller spots versus the more mottled coats of the dogs. But of course the hyenas are always present wherever the present wherever the dogs go. So they they just know that the dogs hunting success rate, I mean 80-85% of the time, a pack of 30 individuals will make a kill. So if any hyenas are close by, they can definitely get some scraps. And the hyenas will definitely come off second best, as usual. You see, but the hyenas are persistent, eh? they, don't, they don't leave the area. Yeah. Yeah. So this hyena right in front of us is listening to other hyenas going absolutely ballistic to the south of us because they have successfully apparently displaced lions from a carcass so less than well within a click from us is actually a pride of lions that was on a kill that was pushed off by probably the same clan members of the hyenas that you see trying to figure out these dogs as well. So that's how our morning started here at Rockvik. We cannot complain. We cannot complain. Look how they have, they're so happy to share the food with each other. Yep, the dogs are gone. They done their bit. saw that, uh, yeah, how they done their bit, definitely. But they've done, they've eaten well. And yeah, these guys are fulfilling their function in the ecosystem perfectly, cleaning everything up. And of that fully grown male impala, there is literally <laughs> just a pair of horns and a skull left at the end. When it's through a pack of wild dogs and then a clan of hyenas, it's been completely recycled now.
dogs down here. Didn't he? Yeah. Hey, All right, so after yesterday's uh, bout of rain, unexpected bout of rain that uh, cancelled our game drive. You see the weather is picking up yeah. again, the wind is blowing and it's quite overcasted, also it's even 7, 8 overcasted. So maybe there's some more rain coming later on, but we did have a nice cup of coffee now to warm up the, the cockles a little bit. And now we heard that the wild dogs actually moved deeper into Rockvik property so we're gonna re-respond and go spend a little bit more time with them in the same drive. And after that we're gonna call it a morning and a day. I'm um, not gonna be on drive this afternoon. So uh, yeah I'll catch up with you a little bit later on just to give it a little dissect a little bit of a breakdown of what happened the morning in the morning and say the sad goodbyes and watering hole where all the animals come to drink crocodiles they're getting a divorce listen to one line about who is worse Mrs. Ostrich, she lost the kid to Okay, so I pulled up my memory card on my GoPro, so I'm making a plan with my video camera. We're en route for Nieleti. Uh, sounds like she did get mobile and visuals trying to be kept of her. So it's, we are in contention, we're about four or five minutes out. Hopefully we can get put this cherry on top of this cake. Uh, uh, let these guys question. leave all happy chappies when they leave Rockwick. So let's get to the area and see if we can gain a visual of this beautiful female leopard called the Nyaleti. And there it is, the cherry on top. The Nyaleti female, we managed to catch up with her. The trackers did a great job, they lost visual. And uh, they picked her up again on foot and she decided to climb this tree. It's late morning, it's already close to 9, 9.30. I don't know, these windy days, typically these very experienced female leopards will sometimes climb the trees to survey for any hunting opportunities, but also to catch a nap. And as we know in Yaleti, she is a, she's a little Johnny Walker. She, uh, she can cover distance in a day quite, quite a bit, so I think she is uh, relishing this nap time, this cat nap. Seems to me that the belly is also quite yeah. full. So I'm thinking that she might have had some dinner last night and finished up this morning. And uh, as you can see, this is the perfect marula tree for her to sleep in. For a Sunday nap. So that's how you uh, put the cherry on top of the cake and uh, this is now three days of guiding that came to an end with a wonderful group of people as well and uh, yeah so Nyeleti was the very last of our aminal list and we saw lots of aminals um, over the past three days so that was quite an epic safari and um, yeah from um, from my uh, from my side, just want to thank you for tuning in. Please subscribe and uh, leave a comment in the comment box below if you wanted to. I'll try and get back to you as soon as possible. And um, yeah, for this episode of Heartbeat of the Timber Vati, I thank you. And uh, until the next one, 
I'll see you guys then. Have an epic one, have an epic day, and wherever you find yourself, stay safe. Cheers for now.